So carrying on from the previous video, um, we were trying to sketch this. Um, we, we, we were trying to sketch this function here, and we got to this stage here where when x is big, it wants to do this and this, and when x is small, it wants to do uh, this thing here. So we, we're going to guess it to be something like this. Okay. So now, um, now we need to find out when the gradient will be zero. So, so here the, the gradient here will be zero. The gradient here will be zero, the gradient here will be zero. So so to look to um to find the gradient um uh we, we need to differentiate this. So now we need to differentiate that. So starting starting with our function here, differentiate it, it will give us this. And then when you look at this here you can see that x is in common here, x is in common here, factor out the x. So th so this thing here becomes this and then and then whenever you have a something that's easily square rootable, easily square rootable, and there happens to be a minus in between, then you can jump to this thing here. So you can jump to x plus 2 and then x minus 2 straight away. Okay. So this thing here becomes this thing here. Uh, this x here is, x, is this x here. And, uh, and looking at this here, when, so, so this, so looking at this here, you, when will, when will the gradient be 0? So set this thing here to be 0. Okay, and then and then you can see that when would this be zero? Well, this would be zero when x is zero. Okay, so f so f prime uh, f prime of x is zero when x is zero. Now, when will when will this whole thing here be zero? Well, if you put a a positive two in here, then this whole thing here will be zero. Okay, and then if you put a negative two in here, then because this is negative, uh, this is zero. Then when you times this and and then when you times this, it will be zero. So um, so so the gradient will be zero at x equals zero, two, and negative two. Okay. So so uh, so looking at this here, we know the gradient will be zero at negative two, at zero, and uh, at positive two here. Okay. But we we don't know the the uh, the value here. So so we've got to put uh, negative two into into here and into here then overall that will give us the the uh, the value here when when the gradient will be zero so in short uh if, if you do um, if you do this here it would be um, it, it would be zero and then if, if you do uh, f normal f of two that will give you zero meaning meaning that um meaning that this point here should be here should be at zero here, so the coordinates here will be minus two comma zero, and this point here should be at zero as well, meaning the coordinates here will be two comma zero. Okay, so so this is what we thought earlier. We guessed it to be something like this, but in fact it's actually here. Okay, this should be here. Okay, so so this is what we thought earlier, but by right it should be this. Hang on. By right it should be. The, the turning point should be here and it should be here. Okay. And by the way, the other turning point is when x equals zero, which is the intercept here. So our, our graph should look something like this. Hang on. Should look something like this. Okay. And then the, um, the, uh, the next thing we need to do is look at the point of inflection. Uh, because if, uh, if, if you look, if you think about it, this is concaving up. And then this bit here is concaving down. So there's, there's a point of inflection somewhere in here. And then if you look at this here, this bit here is concaving down. And then if you look at this later on, um, this bit here is concaving up. Okay, so there's a point of inflection somewhere. So, so to consider the point of infle uh, inflection, we need to look at the second derivative of this. And I will, I will, uh, I will talk about it in the next video. Okay.